What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from Gimdy here. Welcome back to another episode of Thy Saga Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, honestly, I've been kind of having a bum around lazy day. Um, not even gonna front, but, you know, it is what it is, and we're doing what we can do. So, anyway, what's going on? Um, I want to do a team recap, but I also don't want to do a team recap, because the teams kind of just stayed the same. But... It kind of makes sense to do that. We got Lucario with the Jolly Nature, Volt Absorb as an ability with Rapid Spin, Mega Kick, Judgment, and Sweet Scent. We got Tubit with Normalize, unfortunately, with Roost, Chatter, Arrow Blast, and Cut. We have Brenny, it's Brenny Beach, um, with Insomnia, Giga Impact, and Power Trick, which Giga Impact is a beauty move! Let's go! Maximum beauty, Brittany. Uh, anyways, I'm super excited. I was looking at like how to raise beauty and what to do with beauty and all the beauty stuff. And yeah, we saw that Brittany had a beauty move and I was like, oh no, I'm about to have to cry into beauty. And by the time I cry into beauty, it's going to be amazing because I'm going to find <laughs> the prism scale that I needed in the first place. But you know what? Brittany, Brittany be beautiful, okay? It's it's just what it is. And we got Manager Roll with Magnitude, Rock Smash, Poison Fang, and Giga Drain. And then we have 2-7 Ernesto, um, you know, because Roll can't go without his 2-7 with Runaway, Tail Glow, Air Slash, Bite, and Agility. And of course, I did, I did skip Clickbait, but it was for the team introduction, so you can't have your Manager without your 2-7. Anyway, we got Clickbait. And, you know, clickbait, clickbait's been getting a lot of my annoyingness lately and gets on my nerves all the time. So we love her for that. Uh, <laughs> she's cute, smart, beautiful, and cool. The absolute definition of clickbait. <laughs> and moving on. Um, that's, that's kind of hilarious, though. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I can't, I can't even, like... I, like, there's some things you just can't get mad at. The fact that she's literally got cool, smart, beautiful, and uh, the other one that I already forgot. The other cool, smart, beautiful, something else. I actually have to check, double check clickbait again. You actually intrigued me, clickbait. Good job. You managed to actually intrigue me. It was cool, smart, beautiful, and cute. Okay. I don't understand why. Okay, actually, that, that that leads into a whole other topic. Why in the world does Pokemon have both cute and beauty? Like, isn't cute, like, part of beauty? Like, you can't, they're synonymous with each other. Like, you can't have one without the other. I, I always thought about that. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I would love to go into their actual individual definitions and be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Why? But it's just something that I just thought of. Like, they're synonymous. So why are they not treated as such in Pokemon? Oh, no. Y'all can let me know that um, in the comment below today. Sorry. I'm like, I just need to make sh make my uh, webcam go like this all the time. Because I, 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 like, lay, I love laying in my chair like this. Like, this is a great position to be in. I mean, it looks kind of awkward when it comes to recording. But... I enjoy it so no no harm no foul I guess um, but yeah I still I have no clue how I want to handle this but I want to get to Veilstone today obviously that is a stretch and a half and I completely understand where y'all are coming from by telling me that what I'm aspiring to do is very much not understandable i would here take this tm oh it usually is rest but we got maybe something good ernesto maybe uh low kick oh wait we already had that before <laughs> whoopsies i'm gonna be jogging a lot okay you go do that you know what hold on I'm going to run, and I'm going to fight these two, but, you know, again, you can only fight them with the manager and the 2-7. Gotta have your manager, and you gotta have your 2-7. I'm sorry, but, you know, the manager and the 2-7, that's what they're there for. They're there for. Good job, John. You can actually, like, not speak. 
Woo! Okay, what are they gonna fight? A Dug Tree and a Sentret. Aww. Good job. You're the... This is amazing, honestly. Good job. You, you, you miserably failed, and I appreciate y'all for it. Oh, dang. Okay, that's gonna do a good amount of that good group of damage. Good job, Dick Trio. You did something I didn't expect you to do, which was actually hit me. Um, Ernesto getting chip on the um. Oh, <laughs> that's more than chip damage. Ernesto, you beautiful, beautiful boy. You're amazing, Ernesto. The roll. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that killed. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, roll. <laughs> Maybe Ernesto should be the manager. A apparently, Ernesto's uh, vying for that position, and Roll's just like, I'm comfortable and with where I'm at. Roll wants to not, or uh, Ernesto just wants to move up. It's fine. I get you, Ernesto. I 100% get, get wanting to move up and be better and be more involved in your company. So, uh, you know, gotta give you some props for that. Like, hey, I, s I see you. Maybe you'll move up to manager in another store. Because right now, Roll's kind of the manager of this store, unfortunately, for you. And the only way you're the manager is if Ernesto, or if Roll leaves. Which, honestly, Roll could get relocated in five episodes. So, just, you just gotta hold out a little bit longer, Ernesto, okay? Because we love you. We love and appreciate you, Ernesto. You're fine. We 100% we, we, we believe in you. We have the most faith and belief in you. Luckily, only one Pokemon's dying. It's one of you two, more than likely. So, you just gotta hold out, Ernesto. You can do it. <laughs> I'm so mean. Ernesto. Like, well, I laugh, because I say I'm so mean, but that's literally what happens all the time in, like, work environments when you're, like, looking for a promotion, though. They're like, oh, we have a plan for you. You just gotta hold out until X happens. And it's like, and then X happens, and then they moved on already. And it's just like... Oh, but you what and so i totally understand where that's coming from and where how annoying that can be is when you get told hey i have a promotion lined up or something lined up to for you and then it just does not go at all the way it's supposed to so ernesto hopefully it goes the way it's supposed to for you but also to me hopefully it doesn't because i have i mean yes you can be the manager ernesto but like also a 2-7 works better on the team right now. Because I don't know who would replace you, Ernesto. Because you're so amazing, Ernesto. That, like, honestly, like, I need a replacement for you. And that would be hard to find. You see, Ernesto? You're valued in our company. Oh, my God. What is today's episode? <laughs> today's episode is going to be something. <laughs> uh no, but that's how they get you at, that, like, at jobs like that. So, like, I'm literally, this is perfect because I'm, like, explaining to you guys to be careful with the work environment and the work that's around you because people will take advantage of you by verbiage like that because, like, it's basically, like, yeah, we value you, but you're, and you're amazing, and you're somebody who we truly trust, but we're not going to move you up because we need somebody to be in your spot is basically how they do it. Luckily, I do not have to worry about that anymore because I have an amazing manager. But yes, I had that for many years. So it's just like, be careful because it happens. And it's something that I always, it's unfortunate to have happen to people that it was like, they hold out in their respective companies and they're like, okay, I'm going to hold out because I'm going to get something beneficial if I do. And then they never do. And then it's sad. So yeah, that's basically kind of what Ernesto's going through right now. A little bit of like, you know, we love you, Ernesto, and you're great and all, but also we can't fill in for you, which, <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> in this case, it does feel that way, um, but it's also like, I don't know, it's fun to kind of have, and of course, we have fun things as well as part of the reason why I want to go to Veil Store is to get Fly. And we're going to have our first Pokemon name change, potentially. Um, because, yeah. Because, yeah, that's how I'm going to explain it. We're going to have a first Pokemon name change. Not going to say which one, but somebody's getting a name change. Um, because, yeah, it's just happening. 
Um, kind of oof that I'm bringing it up, but <laughs> you know, it's 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 okay. We're we're okay. Um, but yes. So uh, my entire goal, and I asked you guys how to improve Sogalug in the comments of the last episode, and honestly, y'all had some great things for me. Um, you all were talking about uh, wanting story arcs or something for these Pokemon to have like an arc to like, so I feel connected to them once again. Um, and I completely 100% agree with that. I like need a point of connection with these mons because as much as these mons have been part of the team and active and you know, you've had them like, so you should have a bond with them already. I just don't. And it's not something that I've had. And, like, Manager Roll and 2-7 Nesto have been fun. Uh, really fun. Um, to use and enjoy. But also, as Jonas has pointed out as well, uh, on a multitude of occasions lately, um, uh, is that the fault of the series is that Pokemon are always dying, so if you get attached to them, it doesn't matter. But, it's hard to make that matter if you don't, are not... Uh, attached to them in the first place and so I completely agree I, I agree with what Jonas is saying that it's like it's a fault of the series but it, it's also part of the series and why it's part of the series is because I wanted to get attached and then lose Pokemon uh, that I really enjoyed and that I had fun with so that I had to use Pokemon that I don't like aka um, you know are for it I don't like it very much. Also, see, I don't like it very much, but I'm using it, and we're figuring it out. So, it's definitely something that we are kind of getting to, and it's nice to be able to finally get to, like, using some of these Pokemon, like Clickbait. I would never, ever, ever use Clickbait, but, you know, like, I'm actually giving it a chance to prove itself and prove its worth. So, like... I don't know. It's just something, cause like it is. It's it is a positive, and there's gonna be things that we're gonna be actually making that is good and making it work. Oh look, clickbait! This is actually a perfect battle for you. This is a great battle for you, clickbait. Why to go? If you hit this power web, I'm gonna like you a little more. Thank you, clickbait. Thank you, clickbait. Thank you. You're gonna be level 25. You better be level 25, clickbait. You better be level 25. Let's go. You did it. Okay, what else? What else are you fighting? A uh, fighting a Latias. Is that actually a clickbait thing to fight? Is that actually a clickbait thing to fight? You know what, clickbait? I thought you I was going to give you a chance. I did. I I genuinely... And I don't go back on my words. I'm going to give you a chance. Normally, this would be 2-7 Ernesto's job. But... If you really want a job on the team... You're going to have to get so this stuff sorted anyways. So, you know... You, you, do, you girl, you got this. You got this. See? It's only got Twister. Like, what is, it gonna, what, what is this thing actually going to do to you? Like, oh my god, Clickbait, hi, why are you taking that much damage from a Twister? Um, <laughs> okay, Clickbait, you're not supposed to, <laughs> you didn't prove yourself at all, Clickbait. <laughs> set of a fight <laughs> oh my god clickbait <laughs> ernesto's gonna take this hit better oh my god <laughs> dude clickbait we tried clickbait you know we really did and uh yeah that didn't work out for you did it my dear it really didn't Ernesto's gonna take care of this. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> See, Ernesto Grant, even. Ernesto was like, girl, you are so not smart or anything. <laughs> poor, poor clickbait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor freaking clickbait. I give her an opportunity to actually prove herself. And she <laughs> flounders to the biggest degree. <laughs> Oh, my dear. I'm not getting where I wanted to go at all, by the way. By any stretch of the imagination. I don't know how I thought I was actually going to get to, like... I'm like, I'm gonna get the Bailstone today. Nope! I can barely make it out of a battle with a Tarubi. Does she heal me? I think she does. She does not battle... Or she does not heal me. Actually. So and clickbait power whips this, and it doesn't die. Clickbait! Clickbait! You are not proving yourself at all! <laughs> oh my god. Click. I've never seen a Pokemon flounder this badly. Like, come on, clickbait. Like, wow. Like, I get that, you know, there's some things, but Jeez, Louise girl. She got an opportunity and floundered. Like, I, are you sh are you a shy clickbait? Are you a shy clickbait? I mean, hey, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't tell you no, because being shy is not a bad thing. I just need to know that stuff beforehand so I can treat you the way you're supposed to be treated. With delicate care, but... Come on, clickbait. Like, girl. If you miss this. Oh my god, clickbait! <laughs> oh my god. This is just like, you can't make this up. You really can't make this up. Clickbait. Girl. Girl. Clickbait. <laughs> he wants to learn fine. Clickbait. <laughs> oh my god this is an episode this is a much better episode than a lot of the other episodes in my opinion also having to fight this kind of sucks um roll has fighting move ground move i guess i could poison thing it okay manager roll Manager, roll. This one's for you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're going to water gun. Okay, we're fine. I, I'm i fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wasn't fine if I crit, I got crit there. And then bring in 2-7 Nesto on the Mothim. Buy 2-7 like, Nesto just murders. Okay. Well, this was quite the episode, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go back and heal and then I'm gonna end it off. I think this was honestly one of those fun episodes that are like perfectly fine it's Being a little bit shorter than normal. Um, I'm gonna go buy some Moo Moo Milks and it's gonna just be speed up buying So I don't want to put you through that egregious process and uh, we will see you guys in the next episode but <laughs> Clickbait you got you had your opportunity and you floundered. Love you girls. Oh Jeez, clickbait. That was bad. That was really bad. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Soglox, let me know. I hope I improved and got better for you, because I think I, I felt like this episode was better. Went by a lot faster, because I'm just sitting here laughing the entire time. But have a good one, y'all.